Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you live swatches or live application of all of the colors from OPI's much anticipated Euro Central collection. OPI has done several of these country inspired, or I guess Euro is not country specific, but um, either country or continent inspired collections. This is a spring summer 2013 collection and it should be in store soon starting in early February. As always, please go to allurebeauty.com if you want to see still photographs of each of the colors applied to the nails. And the price of these will vary depending on what store you get them from, but they retail for around $9 a bottle. Here is My Paprika is Hotter Than Yours, Susie's Hungary Again, OPI You're So Euro, Polka.com, Can't Find My Czech Book, spelled like the Czech Republic, You're Such a Budapest, A Woman's Progative, Oi Another Polish Joke, Hands Off My Kielbasa, my vampire is buff. I saw, you saw, we saw, Warsaw. And want to bite my neck. Starting with my vampire is buff, it's this pale, creamy nude shade. It's a slight beige tone. So I'm going to let this dry, and because it's streaky, I'm going to apply a second coat. Here's coat two. So with two coats, you get this opaque, pale cream color. Can't find my checkbook is this medium aqua toned blue streaky with the first coat not quite even or opaque I'll let it dry and apply another There's what it looks like with two coats. You're Such a Budapest is this transparent periwinkle purple color. So I think that it's transparent enough that you could leave it at this one sheer coat if you wanted to have this kind of effect. but it's hard to get it to not look streaky. So I'm gonna apply a second coat and this shade does have very fine, um, very small silver shimmer particles in it. So there's two coats. OPI You're So Euro is a blue purple fairly deep shade with this jelly finish. You might be able to get away with just one coat. You can see a little bit of the nail underneath. There's what it looks like with two coats. Susie's Hungary again. this medium bright warm pink so it's yellow toned pink could definitely just wear one coat but again for good measure here's two my paprika is hotter than yours this coral shade that leans more heavily orange than it does red.
And with this shade, it looks like you definitely do not need a second coat. It's opaque and very smooth on the nails. Vaunt to Bite My Neck is this deep purple shade. Again, I think you could just wear one layer here. Here's two just to cover up a little bit of streakiness that develops as this color dries. I Saw, You Saw, We Saw, Warsaw is a midnight blue. And this is applying quite smoothly on the first coat. And it dried quite well too, so here it is with just one layer. Hands off my kielbasa is this shimmery pinkish tan, sort of with a golden or bronzy sheen. And again, it looks like all you need is one coat. Oi, another Polish joke is a shimmering yellow gold. And you can wear this for a more subtle look with just applying one coat. And that's what that looks like. Or you can build it up for a stronger color and a more strong showing of shimmer. There's what two coats looks like, and you can certainly build it up even more if you wanted. A woman's prerogative is this shimmering copper. Again, stunning with one coat. and can be built up for even more dense color. So there's two coats. Here is polka.com which has hexagon shaped particles in it in blue, pink, and purple colors. So I'm going to add Another layer just to show you what it would look like if you just wanted to wear the shimmer alone. I guess this is one coat here if you wanted it to be more subtle. Now with these polishes I've found that you need to wait an extra long amount of time because the clear base is a little thicker. So if you're going to apply multiple coats really make sure that um, it's dry in between coats. Otherwise when you apply the layer on top it picks up the layer on the bottom and sort of makes it difficult and defeats the purpose of trying to build up the particles. So here's kind of what it looks like, just used alone. You can keep building, but again, it's a thicker polish formula, so really be careful with doing that. A more common usage of this polish will be as a glitter top coat over another color, so I'm gonna use this shade as an example. I'm applying it over Vaunt to Bite My Neck from this collection. Alright, so there are the 12 shades from OPI's upcoming Eurocentral collection. I adore this collection, and I think it's because of the mixture of bright and dark colors. The brights are very spring appropriate, and the darks overall go on very smoothly, and you can get away with just one coat with some of them. And the icing on the cake is for sure the polka.com color. I've found that those shades a lot of times are not that impressive because you can't really get the impact 
of what you see in the bottle to translate onto the nails. But with this one, I found that it does look really pretty on the nails, even used alone, but especially over a dark purple polish like the one that I showed you in the video. It looks stunning, and I really enjoyed the colors in this collection. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe tell me what your favorite shade that you saw in this video was, and hop on over to lurybeauty.com if you want to see photos of all these colors applied to the nails. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.